cameras everywhere. It's our land. We want to check it. And we want to find our own, our own people, our own children. Mohawk mothers are calling for the grounds of Montreal's McGill University to be investigated. They believe children, in particular Indigenous children, may be buried near the Allen Memorial Institute, part of the Royal Victoria Hospital legacy site. They're asking McGill to immediately stop the construction being done on the site and allow the area to be examined. We've had so many people come to us and it's been going on for many, many years that there are uh, unmarked graves there of children that have been experimented upon by uh, one of the institutes. We think it's true. People have told us we can't divulge who they are because we uh, fear for them. During the 1950s and 60s, Dr. Ewan Cameron conducted experimental treatments at the Allen Memorial Institute, including drug-induced comas and intensive shock therapy. In recent testimony, one of the few remaining survivors of the experiments, 78-year-old Lana Ponting from Winnipeg, who spent six months at the Institute, alleges that Indigenous children were brought to the Institute from residential schools and victims of the experiments were buried in nearby grounds. She was one of the victims in the 50s. And the, the program that was there was a CIA program and, uh, well, Canadian government as well. And it was called the MK Ultra, which was uh, mind control. I don't know how many could live through that, how many children died from any of that. So we want to know the truth and we want those uh, files that uh, McGill has and this should be made to the public. Public should know what happened. A spokesperson for McGill University tells City News, in 2016, McGill commissioned a study on the archaeological potential of the Royal Victoria Hospital site. According to this study, it is unlikely that Indigenous remains will be found on the new Vic project site. However, should this be the case, it will be made public immediately, the work will be suspended, and an archaeological officer of the Minister of Culture and Communications will be alerted. The nearby Royal Victoria Hospital is slated for expansion. McGill University is planning an academic centre on the 130-year-old site. The Mohawk mothers say work be halted and McGill should be asking for permission. It's our land. It belongs to us. Even McGill does these acknowledgements all over and so does the City of Montreal. They do these acknowledgements that this land is ours. It's unseated. The new project is undergoing public consultations. The Mohawk mothers plan to present their testimony on November 10th. We, the Gatni Stansara, the Mohawk mothers, all Indigenous mothers, exercise our, our uh, rights and our duties and responsibilities, which is to look after the land, to look after the babies, the children. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.